Welcome to Pennsylvania. The snow's pretty heavy, so I want to take it off the greenhouse. Well, so much for that idea. As soon as I opened the door, it just kind of came barreling off of the top of it. I shoveled it away. But I've received a lot of comments about questioning whether or not it can handle all the weight, like the PVC and the plastic itself. And this is about probably about seven or eight inches and it ha handled it without a problem we've had over a foot and it's handled it nicely but it typically comes off oh about to there well you can see what's left this remnant everything from here down just kind of falls away with just a kind of a gentle kick the greenhouse as I'm sure you probably understand gathers solar radiation and then even when you can't see it doesn't seem like there's a lot of light but it is collecting solar radiation and that turns to heat and the inside of the greenhouse warms up and you get a slippery layer of water in between the snow and the plastic and it just kind of shoots right off it, it really has worked exceptionally I'm very pleased but the greenhouse is well had it's had better days the celery survived but it's not quite edible well I tried to make an entertaining video but it's not in the cards today Well, it's a good day to stay inside. The inside of the greenhouse has a pretty neat atmosphere whenever it's raining. It's one of my favorite times to come in. So I figured I'd give you a tour and show you some of the experiments that we're running. It requires the use of shade cloth to keep the temperature down. I found that white fabric is easy to clean and easy to install. I apologize for the shaky camera. I just cut pieces of PVC into these little clips. And it just snaps over the cotton and holds it to the frame. The rain's slowing down a little bit so maybe you can hear me a little better now. I've shown this in another video, but it is such a wonderful thing. It collects all the rainwater, so we can use nice clean rainwater to water all of our plants. I made this table out of reclaimed tracks. I like its design. Check this out. This is a good way to keep clutter down. In the center bed we did this gigantic tomato which is a little bit ridiculous. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. It really needs cut down, but it's kind of fun. It makes like a jungle type atmosphere in here. The cucumber we've discovered produces much better 
when you grow it vertically. It seems like it would be too heavy, but it's really not. You just use string, and it keeps the fruit off of the ground. It makes a much better fruit. I highly recommend growing it vertically. Everything in the greenhouse is an experiment. It's amazing how much you learn in a short period of time. One thing's for sure, succulents love the greenhouse. Like these hens and chicks, they've even flowered. Succulents also do really well in this hypertufa product. It's pretty easy to mix, or make rather. It's just perlite, peat moss, and Portland cement.